Uh, has took you long enough to catch up. What's the matter? Gold bricks in your caboose? Oh, shut your beak. You're not getting any younger yourself, you old windbag. Hush! Magica may not know we're here yet. We don't want to lose the element of surprise. So... You have decided to deliver dime, after all. <laughs> Release my nephews, you evil enchantress! Oh, not until you show me number one dime. Here it is. Now let the boys... What? It's been great doing business with you, Scroogey! <laughs> you too! You've been in cahoots from the beginning! No, even before beginning! Do you remember who sold you painting in first place? Twas me in disguise, you fool! Why, you... No wonder it was such a bargain! Five dollar painting for you saved expensive treasure hunting expedition for me! And now, at long last, I am ready to use treasures to complete spells. Enough with the smoke and mirrors routine. You've got my dime. Now release the lads. Oh, boo -hoo. No time for buyer's remorse from old Hagman. Better to stick with master plan. It's much more exciting. I now summon Dracula Duck. Behold! Dracula Duck, I, Magic of the Spell, have summoned you to do my bidding. You must obey my will and my alone. <laughs> and my will is that you destroy this meddling old fool. than his bite. It's a fearing old bat. Be careful. Cauldron is very expensive.
Oh, boys, I'm so glad you're all right. We knew you'd say that, Zelda yeah, Scrooge. We knew you yep, would. We sure did. Down that hall, lads. Launch pad will be waiting to take you to safety. What about you, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, the whole place is falling apart. Magic and Glumgold still have my number one dime, and I'm not leaving without it. You boys get going. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Good luck, Uncle Scrooge. Now, give me dime. Not till you give me those treasures. I want to be filthy, stinking rich. You already are filthy, stinking rich. But not as rich as that Chiseler McDuck. Where's the treasure? No more horseplay. I need that dime. Oh, no, you don't, Missy. Ah, let go, you fool. Not till I get that treasure. Up I go. Nice try, Magica, but I'll be taking my dime with me back to Duckburg. <laughs> Have a lovely time together. Onward and upward. The number one dime returned safe and sound. But Uncle Scrooge, well, what about the treasure? Yeah, we had it and we lost it. Sorry, Uncle Scrooge. Come on now, boys. We may not have got to keep the treasure, but we had the adventure of a lifetime. And best of all, we got to share it together. You, Webigale, Launchpad. And Epworth, too. Don't forget about Mrs. Beakley. And Baba, and Fenton, and Shiro. They helped us, too. <laughs> Indeed they did, lads. Now, come on. Let's head for home. Let go of me, you tottering old deadweight. Oh, pipe down, you mangy bird. It was real swell of you to give Glomgold a lift home, Mr. McDee. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'll put it on your bill, Flinty. You can pay me back in, oh, say, three to five years. <laughs> With interest, of course. I'll get you for this, McDuck. Mark my words. <sighs> well, there's a sight I never got tired of. Come on, lads. Let's head to the ice cream shop. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, can we each get our own cone this time, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, why not? I'm in a generous mood today. In fact, each of you can even get a cone with ice cream in it. <laughs> <laughs>